My name is Jerry Okorodudu. I am the national boxing coach. I've represented this country in the Olympics, Commonwealth Games, in short, in all the major competitions in the world, including the Olympics. Today, I am the national boxing coach. Being a boxer, my happiest moment would be when I represented Nigeria in the Olympic Games. At least I get to meet a lot of people and my fight was one of the best amongst Nigeria boxers. I lost in the quarterfinal to Sunshine Soup of Korea and that fight was, I don't know, a split decision. Two, three, they said I lost. But everybody knew I won that fight. So Son Shuk couldn't have beaten me because they were trying to pave way for uh, uh, the America, America boy who wants to come. They thought he was going to win. That is Veggie Hill, whom I have beaten in pre Olympics in Germany. So Son Shuk eventually knocked Veggie Hill out in the last round. Well, in those days, the boxing gym has everything. It had the speed ball, the striking ball, the top and bottom ball, and bags, and gloves. But right now, we don't have we don't have them. Except the the new uh, board members and the president, they've been able to buy some equipment to put in the gym for boxers. I use it. Other than that, the, it was not what it used to be before. Uh, the moment I cannot forget in Nigeria is now because I've represented this country. I have nothing to show for it. Now my salary, they don't pay. I have to go to court for them to pay my salary. Now they have not paid. That is not how it's supposed to be. As a sportsman, I feel as a sportsman when you when you leave the scene, they're supposed to remember, oh, there was a time he was doing this for, for this country. But Nigeria is, I don't know. In 1982, Muba Ahmed was the minister for sports under Chakari government. He promised a lot of things. Because of what they did for the Super Eagles in 1980, and we were in the Commonwealth Games in 1982, we won. That was the first time Nigeria took the first place in boxing, in Commonwealth Games. He promised a lot of things. Scholarship, all the stuff, because in 1980, they were giving houses and cars. He said the same thing. They will do for us. The government should set up a trust fund. They should set up a trust fund to be able to help as international athletes, not just Olympic athletes, but other sports, other international competitions. Because that, right now, if you go to any of these offices, nobody is willing to help you. But there was a time you were representing this country. Everybody wants to be your friend. They want to touch you. But now, right now, nobody wants to look at you. If you are eating, you are dying. But I don't think it should be so. For like uh, 14 months, I was not paid. I went to Abuja. I waited for 14 months. A year and two months, I went to Abuja and they now they paid. Since they paid, July, June, July, August, September, they have they have not paid. What can I do? I I train my boys. And some of, some of my boys, my wife works, so she's right now she's like uh, the breadwinner of the family, and, uh, and my children are. Uh, most of my, two of my children are, are in America, 
they, are, they were born there, they stayed there. So sometimes they would call to say, Daddy, how has it been? I said, well, it's rough. They'll post me some money. What is affecting boxers' performance? It's lack of competition. We don't go to competition. And if those days we go to competition anywhere, anytime. Anytime there's competition, we go outside the country, within the country, there are tournaments. But now, no competitions. So, because if you don't go to competition, you cannot improve. Improvement comes when you compete against another boxer from another country and different boxers in short. But right now, they will tell you there's no money. There's no money. It never used to be like that. No, I have never met Floyd Mayweather because he's a, he's a small boy. He's now, I mean, I, I left 19, 1982. I've not met him. Maybe his father. His father was also a boxer. I've never met his father. Also. And he does not live in California. I, li I, live, in, I live in California, Los Angeles. So, Floyd Mayweather was not there. I, only, I know I've trained with Henry Tillman. Uh, Paul Benke, in short, all the most of the 84 Olympics, United States boxers, and Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes owned the gym that I that I trained. His coach was my coach, so it's only Larry Holmes I've met and I've worked with him as a as a coach. When I lost my fight in the in the quarterfinals in the Olympics, he woke up to me and said, Jerry, don't cry. You're a great fighter. You know what I want you to do? Go and turn pro and come and fight me. If you turn pro when I'm old and beat me, you beat an old man. You did not beat Hadla, you beat old man. Now everybody was giving me a word of encouragement. Larry Holmes, um, Sugar Ray, some, some black, black people anyhow. Like they woke up to me after that fight in the forum and they were like, man, you didn't lose that fight. You won that fight. I cried. I cried my eyes out because I, I promised my mom I was going to bring you an Olympic medal. It didn't happen. Mr. Baker was the secretary of boxing in America then. He stole my fight. I told my fight and I was, I was sad though, but hey, I've got to know about it. Life goes on. Nigeria, Nigeria is trying. So the only advice I will have for the boxers, when you are, when you are training, have a focus. Say, this is what I want to do. You want to go to the Olympics, go to the Olympics. Tell, say to yourself, I want to be an Olympian. And I want to go there and post for it because I've always thought of Olympic medal. I went to the pre-Olympics in 1984 in Germany. I won best boxer of the year in Castroy, Germany. Then it was the West and the East. So I won Africa best boxer of the tournament and. I won a silver. I lost in the final. I was the only Africa who won a silver medal or won a medal in the in the tournament. I got to the finals.